Hello everybody, Jet and Tom here, and welcome back to our Imperator Rome playthrough where I am playing as the mighty Spartan Dalmatian Spartan colony, and you are uh leading the Cretans in their glorious uprising. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've united Crete to form the Cretan yeah. nation. Um and this time we we may be poking Rome. Um if we feel brave enough. <laughs> I mean, I still think it's mad, but I fully accept we need to uh We don't try and... really have many options other than that. I I could poke Carthage. <laughs> no. I think the size of the Carthaginian Carthaginian fleet. Yeah, I think what we do is we want to wait until Rome is busy with somebody else. Who are they fighting at the moment? Oh, somebody tiny. They're busy with somebody in the north, and then we cut. The, we we try and block their fleet off. Hmm. It's tricky. Um, the issue is I don't know. It's so hard to tell how big their armies will be now. They don't have a huge vassal swarm anymore, thankfully, because they've integrated, and. <sighs> Their culture's reasonable, but it's not huge. It all depends how many people they've integrated. Ah, oh, fucking. What's... <laughs> oh, uh, horrible uh, up things happening, which are basically none of have good consequences. Yay! That's what we like to hear. I think... Uh, to finish this, I, I, to finish my quest line, I need to go to all of the Antigonids at some point as well, because I've got to have, I've, I need to hold yeah. Corinthos. Yeah, I, unfortunately, it's exactly the same for me. I don't think you need to hold Corinthos, you need to hold Megara. I need to get Naxos and the rest of the... Yeah, and, and, and Megara. So basically, I get the bottom of the Peloponnese, and you're getting that whole bit. I, if I can take out Iparus, get Iparus back... I think, yeah, if I can get the Iparite population in, assuming they've not been overly Romanized, mm. um, it will make, put me into a very strong position, especially once we've got the Dalmatians integrated. Ooh, I already have people in... Hmm. In. Um... I can already recruit pops people in Dalmatia, though I don't appear to have any text there. Yay! This gives me more people, I believe. No, this one doesn't, but it still helps. This one does. More people. Oh. Oh, I can finish the mission. Nice. Is it worth doing some of the others? I'm doing some of... I don't know what I'm, you're... No, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to work out whether or not it's worth me doing a mission. Even Megalobs Tegra has a... Uh, it's fulfilled all of the following. Ooh. Is Megalopolis not a city anymore? Yeah, it is. Uh, no, it probably wants you to upgrade it to Megalopolis. <laughs> no, no, no. My mission is... Uh, it's owned by Sparta. has a population of... It has a civilization value of at least 50. Yeah. Population. Ugh, the population is too low. Yeah, that's that's usually the I issue. I can fix that. By raiding? No, by throwing people at... Throwing slaves at it. There we go. Uh, it gives me population assimilation speed, which is really good. And then, that one, not yet worth doing. I am finishing the mission. Nice. Okay. Completing this mission as Lyconia, extra tax, extra tax, extra tax. Right. Oh. So, the Second Peloponnesian League, or the Pearl of Greece, or a matter of Aurelia. That sort of thing. The Second Peloponnesian League is the one I want to do. Uh, this is one which may involve me owning Sparta. Protector of Greece. Uh, Sparta gains claim on every territory held by Mastan, Thrace, Egypt, and the Seleucid Empire in Greece. <laughs> and the cities. I need to yeah. hold Corinthos. I'm just looking through these. 
I don't think I need to take Athens. That's because it's not held by any of the... Yeah. It's... The thing is, I think it's as long as they leave Greece, if that makes sense. Yeah. I will. Ch it will change Sparta into the Peloponnesian League when I do it. Uh, anyway, I can unpause now. That's good. The integration to... is really nice because it, it gets me more people very quickly. Where is it that tells you what benefits you get from the civilization level in your territory? I can't remember. Because um, I can literally find... on it, click on it and click on the civilization level bar and it shows you. So you click on the territory. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty juicy. Ooh. Yeah. Basically, uh, your population output is based on your civilization level. Yes. Uh, it... Equal percentage. Yeah, obviously, unless other than tribesmen. So, yeah, you uh, want no, to... Tribesmen the same. Yeah, it's yeah. just their happiness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh... And also increases growth as what well, which is what we like to see. What do I want? That is the real question. I do like the way it tells you just how much they impact your income now. Hmm. Uh, I need to arrange a marriage for my ruler. What stats is she missing? Uh, hang on, I'm just looking at things. Um, I think I'm actually getting an aqueduct in Sparta. I have some pretenders aboard, I don't care. <laughs> right, my ruler has married someone to completely negate all their terrible stats. <laughs> Nice, my stability's getting good. I'm, I'm not looking forward to this this Spartan war, but this Roman war, but I think it has to be done. I've just got a good ruler as well. Introduces all my <laughs> boss of things. Yeah, no, getting Dalmatia, that's going to be huge for my military as well. While Dalmatia will probably be ravaged. The thing is, though, once if you can get Epirus, I have so many claims. Unfortunately, I also have claims on the Nac on on the Neostatic League. Yeah, but the thing is, you won't need to actually take them. I'm pretty I... sure to complete the mission. Um, there are no territories owned by Macedon. Yeah. Yeah. I do need to own Corinth at some point. But yeah, most of this is down in my part. I think the next quest line I get is to take things like Athens, but that can happen when it happens. So I still haven't completed a single quest because... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's tricky. The one Ooh. mission I have... Oh, um, the Antigonids are no longer the Antigonids. Oh. But they still have all their... Yeah, they've just name changed. Oh, those guys. Just the worst... Yeah. They've just swapped their name. Um I'm I'm amazed they are holding together still. Well remember at that one point where we thought they were done for. Oh, the Selicids are fighting the Selicids. <laughs> oh. There is a Selicid revolt. Oh, revolt. Somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Which they can't actually get to. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Egypt's the fighting Ju Judea. As always. Ooh. 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 Rome is a warring. Rome is at war on Sicily. It's... Ah. I'm moving my navy into position. It may be time shortly. Be ready. I e. raise your forces now. Okay. All right, I need to pause then. I'm looking for mercs I can afford. Hmm. Mercs are all so damn expensive. I'm not going to hire any mercs just yet. Alright, let me uh, just get my... 
guys into uh user disconnected from your channel okay uh, a user joined our <laughs> channel and disconnected from our channel the fuck huh i thought it was you uh right my army's moving so if you want to unpause okay we are using a different uh, comms thing at the moment because we were having some issues Oh, hang on. Pause for a second. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm scared. We've got to do this, but I'm scared. You know, you can pause when you say pause for a second. Yeah. Um, for some reason. Is your fleet disloyal? No, it was just not moving my. Uh... Oh, you hadn't actually there we put go. your army on it. There we go. It's working now. Yeah. Huh. User disconnected from your channel. Okay. Okay, I'm a little concerned by that. Yeah, someone just joined it. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't be able to. I, I kicked huh. them. I'm keeping an eye. Yeah. Reckon it's uh, those uh, those Russians, maybe. <laughs> uh, you can't say that, man. <laughs> oh, I've got uh... some god. Damn barbarians in my land. And my leader has become foolish. That is... Not very good news. Like, I would say like ruler, like uh, controller. Oh, maybe. we actually integrated so close to being integrated. So close to bigger armies. All right. Basically, my, you see uh, where my army is. Get your one there ready to push yeah, up for no, Ipirus. Yeah, they are moving there. And then I'll move my fleet down, and we can merge our fleets together, and we will go hunting. Uh, I was going to bring my second army over. Uh, okay, yeah, we, we don't need to start instantly. Oh, to be my... fair, the other army is tiny. Yeah, my Dalmatians so... are tiny as well, but it, everything is... Everything... Yeah, the more we have, the better. Every little helps. Yeah. Right. To be fair, you could probably go to war in. Basically, wait. I now. need your. F no, I, I. A. I'm bringing my army down, and I need your. I need your fleet attached to mine before we start. I think we better do it now, whilst uh, Sicily still has all its territory. Yeah. Right. Ready. Move your fleet yep. onto my fleet then, then attach it. Oh, I am I'm stuck. the oh. army over. Okay. In I've which... got the main army there, yeah. so we can quickly... Their fleet is big. All right. Um, Change I'm, plan. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, get your army up, and then we'll meet, meet... You'll have to come and meet my fleet. We just need to be ready. Ready? Uh, no, I'm bringing my fleet straight to your fleet. I'm it's only a 2,000 size army, so they can... Uh... Uh, okay. Basically, I'm Just sitting obviously... off Ipirus and then join. I'm starting the I'm... war. Yep, start it. Oh, God. Just, uh... Let's... Just pause there so I can change the settings to... I also just started the war. None yep. of my other allies will join, unsurprisingly. If right, you so you go take straight, Andresia. Yeah, you go straight um, for fortification. Yeah. I am unpausing. My fleet is almost at yours, so... Yeah, if you attach it, and I'm going to sail... Right. Uh, so... Just enough to spend... Attach to unit. Yeah. There we go. I am they sailing. I'm hoping... Like hell... The Romans' fleet is around, um... Well, there's a Roman ooh. army. Where? Right above us. Oh, yeah, it's T. There's only 2,000. Yeah, that'll be their local army. Right, I'm marching to the fortification as well. Yep. Right, there appears to be no Roman fleet here at the moment. I am falling back with our fleets so that we're not I'll taking go... attrition. Well, that's why I was going for this port here. 
Oh, I've missed. So I'll go attack their army. So their army's out of commission here. Yeah. Oh, they've got another army. I'm invading through the north, by the way, as well. I'm half expecting them to land forces in my northern territories. Oh, the war. Rome has. Right. I oh, know Rome is. Rome has peaced out. We are now in go time. Uh, no, we've almost taken the territory. You could probably peace out. Oh, you didn't take. Uh... Not yet. No, no, I've got it. They got rid of the fortification. Yeah. The thing is, Rome won't peace out yet. <laughs> Should we go and invade Rome? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Basically, you know. hold on. Is the, 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 the call for the day is to hold what we've got. I'm going to go support your allies in attacking that Roman there. Oh, yeah, I'm marching all my armies there. Oh, the Roman legions look so cool. So they don't have a bull on the shield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to pause. I've just gained attack. So all I'm going to say is, if the Romans land on Crete... That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, it's only you. <laughs> well, I'm being sensible. I'm building fortifications in on my other territory. Um, You hold one of the territories, by the way, if you can flip it back to me. Oh, do I? Uh, which one? Phoenicia. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Where is the Roman navy? That's what I want to know. Um, Unpause uh, when you're ready. Yep. Yeah. Right, so the question is... Do we... What do we do with our forces? Wait. And see where they come. Ideally, we hold here. Ah! We are board ah. my ships and go north and defeat that army. Uh, uh, they're, I they're can't in... board your ships. Yeah. You stay there and defend. I'm I'm boarding ships. Because I've got a force end during Dalmatia. They've hired... Oh, they've hired mercenaries in Dalmatia. If they're hiring mercenaries, they must be um, having fun. Uh, and I need to pause because oh, I, I can't actually attack. It's a um, never mind. It's a um, yeah, exiled army. So basically, march your army to the very far north, and you'll yep. smash them as soon as they appear. Walk in, and you might as well go start. Start what? You were you going to tell me to start raiding their territory? Their territory. Yeah. No, I don't want them to be able to land. If we can hold... I mean, I guess if I were to flip a couple of things, it might cause them to switch, but it's the danger of Romans actually managing to land. I thought that's why you built up the fleet. Yeah, that's why the fleet is where it is. If I move fleet elsewhere to go and raid them... Well, no, I was literally meaning just that corner there. Oh yeah, they've, they've got a city here. I won't be able to take yeah. it. I have to take the fortification. And if I if I lose my armies... Oh, oh, stop! <laughs> I found them! Yep. Sail the fleet! Uh, I've lost sight of that Roman army, so I'm going to move them to that territory. Yeah, they are landing to our, into my territory to the south. Yeah, I know. I, I, I see oh, yeah, No, no, it's just above you. It's just above you. Stay there. Oh, is it? Yep. Damn. Their fleet escaped. I am landing... My army again. I'm going to need your army to deal with this. 
in um, a sec. But you just told me to go back. No, no, no. Fast. I will after you've done that. And how? All right. Ooh. Yeah. They split their... Uh... If you can get down here as quick as possible. I'm on my way. Come on, come on! One Roman army down. It's fleeing north towards you if you can try and intercept it and cap it because it'll stop somewhere in all that territory. I'm marching it to hopefully yeah. en catch, engage them. Yeah, no, that 8.9 is the one we want to try and re-engage. Hang on, I <laughs> got a court thing popping up. Oh, this is such a tense war. <laughs> Thing is, if we can wipe these two armies out, that's going to be a big percentage of their forces. Right. Okay. On pause. See, they may be marching all the way back to Rome, being the good thing, if we're lucky. I think they are. Right. In which By case, keep heading down. Because they got no territory here. God damn it, they took Firmus. I need to recap it, but it's, it should have very little food. I'm, I'm in a bit of trouble now, actually. I was actually going to say, why don't you use the fleets to... Uh... Oh, actually, hang on. That army's... God damn it. I've got... Sorry, I have to go north. They uh, stopped retreating. Oh, in god damn it. Yeah, territory. go deal with them. I've got some mercs up. Excuse me while I tweak my tax to keep them going for as long as possible. Ooh, I already had. I haven't even touched my tax yet. Oh, they've already... How are they replenishing in enemy territory? Hacks! Hacks! I don't get how they stopped. Because up to 11.7 .7 now, they're getting too big for me to attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting my fleet onto independent orders. Oh, God. Yeah, don't. Stop. Fall back. Fall back. Yeah, no. I'm going to hold this position because I'll have defensive advantage. The speed they took my fortification with terrified they come. me. Um, what's it saying, odds-wise? Uh, no. I'm... Uh, Is it green? They're not marching... They're moving this way. It's just, I don't know which territory they're moving into. And they're going right past me. That's fine. They'll be going for um, the cap. Oh, we're, we're chasing their fleet off again. Oh, and they've got another two. Yeah. Size it's saying army. you're. It was saying you should. Oh, oh you've no, got no, yourself no. Ca captured. You let yourself get cornered. Nope. That's not me, though. That's the... Uh... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm marching the mercenaries north while my, uh, my main stack is pushing into our own territory. If we pincer them between our armies... Oh, no, to. they've caught me. God damn it! Right, I'm bringing. <sighs> no, no, no! It's it's fine. You you gotta deal with that one down there. Yeah. No, it's just I was sending my mercenaries up, and I can't afford to send them without. The worst support. thing is I've got more discipline than them. It wasn't that f that bad. Damn it! Well, at least my homeland's fine. I say this. 
Um, so, uh, oh, your navy isn't stacked up on mine. I'm moving Raytheon it back to the. Raytheon Civil War. That's what we could have done with. <laughs> Um, reattach your fleet if it, I think it's unattached. Uh, it hasn't. Still following. I have a nice big chunky stack ready to head back up to, to reinforce. Um. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure we're going to come out nice from this. Oh, okay. Hang on. Pause. Guess where Rome is. Surrendering. Nope. Surrendering? Look at the map. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it all, but I got the bit I wanted. Yeah, no, they had landed on Crete. <laughs> we just basically, we kept it going long enough because we held the territory. We kept it going long enough. But smeg me. I told you we could win it, but it was going to be a hard one. All right. Do you want to unpause? I'm, I'm just disbanding things first. Yeah, I'm paused. I cannot disband because one of my guys are too disloyal. Oh no. And I nearly have as many Epirites as Spartans. Straight integrating them. How the hell is this guy too disloyal? That was a close war. <laughs> That's really irritating how that guy's too disloyal. What's funny I is have... I now have Romans as well in my territory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as you guys might have guessed, we were a little bit tense there. Is the Thracian Civil War still happening? No. I completely missed the Thracian Civil War. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> That's really quite... I think that we missed that. I'm... I, I'm... For some strange reason, I'm building a... Uh, I, I, I think I want to build a... um Fortification on the border with Rome. Are you sure about that? No, because apparently I can't. The fuck? Oh, I don't think I can afford to. Oh, you've paused it. Yeah, no, I needed to pause it because uh, I had a new tech. And I have a chance of civil war now. Yeah, we can deal with that if it happens easily enough. I'm just going to bribe everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, apparently attempting to build... um. Fortifications in Rome's territory isn't useful. Yeah, no, Rome still has some territory there, but it's not core Iperite territory. It would have been nice to get it, but it was not worth the risk, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Uh, do you want to unpause? I thought you'd paused well, it. <laughs> I had to pause, but yeah. I need to figure out how to... But once I've got Iperus in, with the Dalmatians, the Iperites... The Spartans and the anti the um, Aetolians. I am going to be mighty. I think we are at the point now where we're potentially yeah. going to be. But that war, y you were worried, and I was a bit worried, but it was worth the risk. If we'd lost, we would have lost bad. But You need to turn your taxes down. Oh, yeah, good and then point. you need to fortify there. Good point. Thank you for reminding me about my taxes. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing that at all. You're poor, poor people. Ooh, more military tax. You have to be at war with people for slave raid, don't you? Nope. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but it gains you aggressive expansion, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice to spend some money to gain some. I'm pushing down towards that then. Uh, my navy lacks a commander. 
And I have two extra trade routes to do. So what imports do I want? I would like to get some... Uh, papyrus. Can I get any? Nope. Precious metals. From the eastern deserts. Hmm. Hmm? So I'm just trying to work out what's best for me to get uh, item-wise. I mean, grain is always good. Grain is always good. As are fish, but I've already got that. Livestock is promotion speed. Honey. Um, oh, silk for noble output. I can't get that. Cloth. Nope. Uh, the military resources are always good because obviously they improve your units. Already got if them. bonuses. Oh, I don't have... Yeah, no, I'm getting leather. There we go. For my light infantry, which are my spears. Oh. Oh. I gained... Oh. I gained... Roman ships. Yeah, when he defeats uh, their fleets. You know, I hadn't even realised I'd done that. My fleets are now on independent operations. If it wasn't right. for Rome, I would probably... My fleet is now bigger than Rome's fleet on its own. <laughs> yeah, um... The brilliant thing there is if Rome had integrated Iparus, we just screwed them over massively. I have more Athenian pops than I do... Uh, no, I don't. Sorry. It's, my Athenian pops are happier than uh, I, my... I almost have more Iparite pops than Spartan... Than, than Lacomedacian pops. So for my base pops. And once they're integrated, I'm pretty much going to be up to 20k stack military. Yeah. Uh... Which will be nice. Oh, that's yeah. always nice. Frace has to be our next target. <laughs> That's going to be another fun one. And the thing is, they are potentially at this point, especially with their vassal swarm, terrifying. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to import some wine from Sparta. I made a request to import wine. I think. Mm. I was... You're not reacting, so Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm... Yeah, no, do it again. Sorry. No, no, it's all, I've already changed it. Mine should have been on auto-accept. I think it was because it was uh, from your capital region. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, I so I need to build that fortification on the Roman border soon, but yeah. Guess how many trade routes I've got on my capital region How now? many? 17. Bloody hell! Uh, you're more populous than me as well, scarily. Your your capital is better than my capital. Your capital has a port, which is always useful. Yeah. But... I actually quite like moving the port, the um, the capital to Corinth when I can, when I get the option. You're also bankrupt, man. You oh, yeah, make I know. much more money than me per tick as well. Yeah, it was uh, more a case I had a... A dilemma come up, and there was only one. Yeah, no, they always suck. Real. Um. Um. Ah, uh, you know, I keep forgetting about character interactions. I'm wondering whether, if I have a look at uh, Thrace. Oh, well, that's what I need to do. I always forget this. Because now we've got new <laughs> administration, I can um, all his siblings are dead. Auto trade things, so I need to set up all my auto trade, which I always forget to do. So all the auto trade is set up. Yeah, I'm, mm. I'm getting some extra um, techs out. I'm just trying to in keep increasing my trade value, which seems to be working. Research and needed. You 
didn't join me in my war. Therefore, you... Hang on, I didn't? What? No, 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 talking to you, not talking to you. I'm dissolving some alliances with the scum who didn't join me in the previous war. And I'm also fabricating claims on them. Understandable. Um. Basically, I've got all the coast up to where I've got, I want to consolidate into a single lump. At some point. Oh, yeah, I mean, for it sure. will eventually like, involve another war with Rome, but you know, we'll, we'll. I mean, we've proven we can beat them, and I'm going to be more powerful now. Now. Yeah. Oh, there's. Yeah, I've got the, on. one of the final tiers in uh, civic advances now. Trade port. Nossus is going to become a world trade port. World port. Ooh. Gives me two additional trade routes in the capital. It's not bad. I'm just looking at things to... Uh, what's the best resources for just straight increasing your income? Honestly, no idea. Just getting a bit more wine for, for more money. I mean, each one increases your income, so... Yeah, um... But yeah, we're kind of basically butting up against Frace now, and it's 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 how to deal with that. I think I'm just going to import Ooh. some more honey from Judea. Get more monthly food, more to produce. Nice, I have 60 months of stored food. I think that's enough to keep my people happy. Possibly. Oh, I am. I am going to a small war. You d I'm not calling you in. Here's you going to all your wars. Here's me trying to balance out my uh, finances. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Stuff just happened. So people died. I need to reassign people. It's all done. <laughs> No, basically, there's Four a couple harvest. of there's a couple of little Greek states, uh, Greek states I can nom up with these, which aren't allied with anybody. Uh, which ones? Uh, Oros. There's only oh god damn it! They just peaced out. They they just finished a war. Oh well. Oh, and Macedon's a client state of Thrace. Yes. Basically, Oros in the north is about to have. Uh, have 12,000 Agri Spartans land on their shore saying hello. That sounds like a nice weekend in uh, Sparta. Oh, they've got. Oh, goddamn cheats! There, uh... Is it bad that I kind of want to be a satrapy of Thrace just so they can <laughs> look after me and it I can is... develop? You can offer it, but I think you might, might both be a bit too big. Can you not I, integrate I Cyrenicia yet? Uh, nope. Uh, the problem with Cyrenicia is how much they like me. You can. There's ways of fixing that. You just just reduce it and spend money on it, and you bring them in. Yeah. The problem is how much they like me. It's I can't actually get it up high enough with because the, they still they still don't like have a negative factor due to me declaring war on them. They like me. <laughs> um, you do Some need reason. to expand somewhere. Yeah. That's the problem. And unfortunately, I think we need to poke Thrace. The need... thing is, if we can deal with Thrace, then... The thing is, if we, if we crack Thrace, they will probably... You, you can probably get them to break, but... Yeah. That's the issue. It's getting them there. 
Yeah. Nice. The Ipperites are now integrated. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to decide uh, on technology to pick. And I'm wondering whether I should go for some things to increase, increase loyalty or go down martial advances. I'm not sure. Uh, loyalty is always good, but martial advances are also good. Um, but also, cultural advance, they're all good. I actually, one thing I think about this is I think that I think the techs, where they used to be split, was better, where you had to go down them all. Whereas now you can just focus in one. I don't mm. like. I think they should be slightly faster. But you should have, but it should be split amongst them. Because it doesn't, yeah. it feels like you've got. It's very much uh, you've got to specialize or die, if you see what I mean. I'm going up you know to speed what? four, by the way. Yep, I'm going to go down the route to get uh, legions. Yeah, because I never, I never really bother with that till later. Now I always go down the culture route because if you get big, powerful cultures, it also increases your tech and everything. So me now having these integrated cultures, I need to do some techs to actually improve my integrated cultures' happiness. Mm. But once I've done that, I become much, much more powerful. I mean, obviously, I want to get Macedonian in as well, long run, because yeah, I'd be silly not to get that culture in. Aha! There we go. Finally uh, got rid of that guy who was disloyal to me. Uh -huh. So I can now disband the last of my levies. <laughs> You Which lucky has man. increased in size, interestingly. I said, the fun one to do with this is starting as Byzantium, and it is just insane. Oh, that? Completely believe. I've done it, and I won. I literally became a world power. It was awesome. But it was uh, right. a fun start. Basically, I had to play everybody off everybody. <laughs> um... Right, more marketplaces in my capital. Basically, I'm just making my home region the the only place in the world to trade. God damn you. Unfortunately, you can't give me money in this game. <laughs> <laughs> no. There you go. You see, I've got some new little, little, uh, vas little, ah, oh, I should have vassalized him. Never mind. The thing I always forget is you can spin off regions as vassals. Not that I want to at the moment. Hmm. Uh, guess what my commerce income is currently? Yes. Lots. 5.72. Jesus, man. Oh, no, my <laughs> commerce income is 8. Uh, my fleet yeah. maintenance is 7 gold. 7.73 gold. Up. I have How many more? a freaking huge fleet. That's the problem. Yeah, with how many more territories you have. Yeah. It's, uh... More a case of... I'm, I'm actually... getting all this income for basically one place. Which is the uh, fun part. I have reduced my fleet. Because we don't need... The fleets can be done between us, if you see what I mean. Um, I would actually keep your fleet as it uh, is. I, I, I needed to get rid of some. I, I actually do need an income. Well, you should be getting your income now, because of obviously... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, the Ipperites are integrated, but yeah. 18k home legion now. Annoyingly, because the Dalmatians are mostly tribal, I don't get much from them. Hmm. Yeah. Until you actually... Yeah. yeah. They will slowly increase, but it's going to take a while. I just don't know how we can deal with Thrace. No! My leader's dead! <clears throat> they lived a long time, at least. Oh, no. It might not have been... I don't know who died. Somebody died.
Yes, my mm. leader died. I have a new young leader. Co at a co consul. Well, let's do the war council. Prepare for war with Thrace. It's a good idea, right? Right? <laughs> Annoyingly, oh, I, mean... I don't have enough people in my families to. Whoa! There we go. I should have somebody from my family to assign to this job now. No, I still apparently don't. Oh, it's already somebody. Okay, never mind. Well, luckily, I'm glad I've built already built a fort in that. Uh... There you go. My income has now gone up to 3.38, which is quite nice. I'm glad I didn't get rid of some of the fort. I, I considered getting rid of some of the fortifications down in the main territories. I'm quite glad I didn't. Oh, four now. Yeah, my uh, my new leader is obviously better with the uh, money. <laughs> my commerce <laughs> income shot through the roof. All my people are starting to die. Yeah, oh. it, it's that part of the game. Oh, I've got a disloyal character who I don't care about. Um, anyway, I think we are at the point to stop this one. Yeah. Because we're at a kind of natural, natural lull. We're kind of just plotting. Um, <laughs> Eternal plotting. We need to work out how to deal with Frace. Uh, we need to try and court one of the big guys as an ally, I think. Uh, I Galatia can't, I can't might be. talk to the seller kids. Who? Galatia. They're no, no, they're not close enough to phrase. Oh, oh, rocks. Uh, they are. I, um, hmm, I may. I can't speak to them. Uh, oh, you, I, if you can get an ally, alliance with them, I might go for the Ptolemaics, actually. Oh, can you ally with them? It's... Close enough, I might be able to persuade them. I'll have to spend some money on it, if you see what I mean. So, rather than actually war ally with Galatia, the guys just north of them, Mariandinia, yeah. uh, I can ally with them straight away. Um, I'm sending... I'm, I'm improving opinion with the Ptolemaics. With Ptolemies. And I am at max relations. I can't ally with them. Um, I can ally with Bifia. Oh, no, I can't. With some of the small people. But, yeah. Uh, I'm going to also improve opinion with Galesia. But getting a few of these people in yeah, would be so, good. Especially these independent kin kingdoms. Rhodes really like me. Unfortunately, if I try to call them into war with... Yeah. They won't... Nor I'm will also Marian. improving opinions with all the tribals above Frace. Because they've got quite good sort of defensive leagues against the, the, against Frace. And they're all close enough I can probably persuade them into a thing. Anyway, mm. yeah. Basically, I'm doing a whole swathe of improving relations around Frace to, to bring potentially bring people into this war. Because we need yeah. it. But it's going to be a painful one. Uh, anyway, I think that is where we'll leave yeah. it. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do like and subscribe. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members, Monsters Abound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Goading Monster, and Jared Horn. And other than that, guys, thank you to everyone for watching. Cheers, guys.